This week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. Fan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management. Bee Stinger. Gold Tip. Insane Archery. Longhorn Fab Shop. Oak Ridge Game Calls. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters. Vapor Trail. And also by these fine sponsors. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. Just to give you a basis of the show, we're based off of an online hunting show on DeerHunterFan.com. What it is, is every week during the hunting seasons, we have semi-live episodes that recap the action from that week. So be sure to tune in during each hunting season for weekly live updates. And what this show is going to do is further break down each hunt, strategies, tactics, go more in depth and detail so that you can get something from it and share in our experiences. It's going to be a lot of fun this season. We have a lot of great footage for you. Can't wait to get it started. Be sure to visit www.deerhunterfan.com. While you're there, you can watch free weekly semi-live episodes during each hunting season. And be sure to visit the Fan Zone. Once there, you can create your own profile after you sign up, upload your own videos and pictures, and have your own hunting episodes online for everyone to see. So visit us. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. I just want to take a second here and talk to you about an awesome product we use, the Insane Archery Bow Camera Mount. Not only is this an awesome piece of equipment that you can use to capture your best bow hunting moments. Got good video of him. But you can also use it as a tool. Play your shots back and see exactly where you hit that animal and decide what you're going to do next. So make sure you visit Insane Archery today and purchase your Insane Archery bow camera mount and capture the hunt. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. So in this episode, I want to go over a few different tactics for hunting deer in the pre-rut and then getting into the rut. And this is always kind of a funny subject because deer movement isn't set on a schedule, you know, for every area and time of the season. Yeah, like on your property, the deer could be just hammering the food plots during the pre-rut, during the daylight. And just down the road, you know, eight miles or so on a different property, 
deer might be on a night routine. Right. This has a big bit to do with the terrain and the amount of food in a certain area. If the way your, your terrain lays on your land or the amount of food can force deer to move at night or it can enable them to move during daylight hours. How far they have to travel or what kind of terrain they have to move on. As we look at these next clips, we're going to show you a couple different scenarios. The first one is with me as I tried to figure out where to hunt the deer in the pre-rut during daylight hours. And the other is with Mason down in Kansas and he's going to hunt the first week of the rut. And everybody knows that that is the week the big bucks are on their feet. But by no means at all does that guarantee you to see them and definitely doesn't guarantee you that you're going to get a shot at one. Here we go, the afternoon hunt. I got a little bit of a walk with this stand, so I'm just dressing in nice and light. I got my coat with me, I'll put it on later if I need it. It's 65 degrees, might not even need my extra coat, but we'll see what happens tonight. I got a good feeling about the spot. It's a little breezy, blowing in some, uh, some storms for tomorrow. So hopefully the deer are moving to the food source tonight. That's where I'm hunting. All right, I'm in the stand. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. So we were there just a really quiet morning, you could hear forever, hear a deer crashing through the woods, it's a little six point, right away I'm thinking a coyote's chasing it, sure enough I look up, here comes what I think's a coyote, and it turns out to be somebody's dog. Heading out for tonight's hunt. As you've seen this morning when I got done hunting, I checked the trail cams, and uh, this morning at like four something in the morning, the tall eight crossed this field that I'm gonna go to tonight. 
in hopes that he crosses back the other direction tonight. Okay, well I'm in the field stand where the tall eight has been. I've got him on trail cam two times in the last ten days. <clears throat> Sit in this corner. I uh, use some dough scent, some dough urine. Not estrus, just urine. And uh, I was on the bottom of my boats and walked about 60 yards across the field all the way down here and then looped it to that trail and then came back to my tree. So if a buck comes out of that trail, come in, give me a broadside shot. And, uh, well, that's the best plan. The wind is just about as good as it can get for this spot. That's one of the main reasons I'm here, besides seeing the tall lake here this morning. So the deer were definitely in this area, and they were starting to come in this field during daylight hours. But I wasn't about to force it and move back in the woods trying to catch a buck. With this great buck in the area, the last thing I wanted to do was get in there with the wrong wind and just blow it. So I then decided to move across the creek to the other hilltop. This move was based on prior knowledge of deer movement in the area, and especially with my trail cams. I'd get a picture of a deer going through the one field at nighttime on a trail cam, and on my other trail cam, I catch that same deer an hour or two later, especially with the bucks. But this all changed once they dropped their velvet. But I was more than ready just to get into a good area with a lot of dough and fill a dough tag. I'd stay in that area, wait for the rut, and hope a buck came through. Well, I just got in a stand. Came to this tree tonight. This is, I call it, the observation stand. I want to get an idea where the deer are coming out into the fields, where they're crossing. And while I actually put a trail cam down here. The other night, I had some deer across the field right here. When I came in here, I busted three deer out of the field. They're across about 30 yards in front of me. So this is a good spot. I could get a shot at deer here. <clears throat> came here, because like I said, I'm getting in late. It's right on the fields. Deer shouldn't get here until just before dark. Those deer are already out here, probably because it's raining. Got a standing corn right down there. This is some winter wheat. Let's see what happens. Got a buck chasing some does. The shot was also captured with the Insane Archery bow camera mount. It's now time for the Insane Archery shot cam. Alright, well we're down here, we got her. Cool thing was she only ran about 30 yards. The not cool thing was she rolled all the way down this very steep embankment. So we had quite a hike to get in here, we got quite a hike out of here. But uh, worth it. Got a very nice doe here. 
Got a good shot on her. Great day. Dad seen bucks moving today. I seen a couple bucks. A lot of deer out everywhere. These these uh, rainy, misty days always seem to be really good. Chasing starting to, to set in a little bit. You know, so it just goes to show you, even if you can only get in your tree stand with an hour and a half left of light, it's worth doing it. You can always see deer. Shop. Power through anything. Twelve Point Property Management offers food plots, trail cam services, brush hogging, property posting, timber services, and overall property management. Visit 12pointpropertymanagement.com. Every so often in the field, you're presented with an opportunity to make your dreams come true. Write memories and to capture the hunt forever. Capture your hunt with the insane archery bow camera mount is seen on DeerHunterFan.com TV. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. So when it comes down to it, my strategy was to avoid bumping that really nice buck out of the area and use as more of a scouting period in an area where I knew there were a lot of doe, really focus on the deer movement so when the buck started following and chasing those doe, hopefully I'd be in the right spot. Was it the right decision? Well, we'll find out next week as I try to perfect my stand location to kill a big buck. But right now, let's jump out to Kansas with Mason and his first week of the rut archery hunt.
now he's about to take out Michael. Oh my god. Dude, it has been a pretty good morning. Just about 10 minutes ago, walking down the trail, big buck down there. And we, we brought out a drag rat this morning, and he got a whiff of that, and I was like, dude, he's just gonna come right towards us. He ended up just walking off. Right now, Dylan was like, dude, look to your right. So I looked over there. I thought it was a doe. I couldn't see his antlers. He come walking. And I was like, that's split, baby. Right at 20 yards, Michael did the work for us. I think I hit him a little far back, but I think he said he was quartered away pretty good. Yeah. First buck with the bow. First buck on camera. First kill. Yo, super short, baby. Look at this. Can you say red? That's a green arrow, baby. Look at that. That's what's up. He's dead. He's dead. Did some work. Dude, I'm excited. This is, it's covered. <laughs> I've never seen the arrow so red in my life. I know. He ain't going nowhere. No, he's probably down in there, timber laying down right now. And Michael owes you a thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna give him one <laughs> on my forehead real quick. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. First blood of the day. Dude. Look at this pig. Definitely not the biggest buck. Dude, I'll take it any day. Look at this little split right here. That's so sweet. He's got a big old body on him. Let's see, I can't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pointer. Dang. Got him a little bit farther back, but he's quartering away pretty good, so he's dead, ain't Look he? Look at the exit shot. It's pretty nice. Got a big old body on him. Very proud of that one. Oh, yeah. Them do the work. I do the killing, they do the dragging. <laughs> this really was a cool hunt. It was not the first time these guys have had success with decoys. Yeah, decoys definitely have their place. I have heard and now I've seen how these tools can work great in the field. If a buck is caught in the right mood, either curious or territorial, you can bet he's going to come in and check out that decoy. And when he does, he's going to come into the front of that decoy, so he's coming right towards its head. You need to make sure that that area is upwind of your position. Make sure you have plenty of shot opportunities in that area. And that, yeah, because when he comes in, that buck's going to start to posture and most likely debate on attacking this decoy. And if he attacks him, he'll be gone right after he hits him. It's going to scare him. So don't hesitate at the first shot opportunity you get. That's going to do it for this week. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. And I'm Travis Olmstead. We'll see you next week. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management. Vapor Trail. Bee Stinger. Insane Archery Gold Tip Longhorn Fab Shop Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters Oak Ridge Game Calls And also by these fine sponsors And DeerHunterFan.com An original online free hunting show